Hi there. If you have ever wondered what big data is all about, right? Why is there so much hype? And you're dying to understand, you know, can we can someone explain big data in as simple terms as possible, right? Then you have come to the right video. In this video, I'm going to explain what big data is all about in very simple terms without getting into too many technical details. Okay, so let's get started. Big data at a high level is a solution. Now, before I can talk about the solution, I would like to talk about the problem. You see, there is always a problem that we are trying to solve. So if we understand the problem, the better we can understand what the solution is all about. So first, let's define the problem. Let's take the case of, uh, of an organization. Any organization or business needs data. Data that is generated, data that is processed, and data that needs to be saved. Let's take a simple organization where there is a point of sale system, there is a customer relationship management, marketing and supply chain management. All of the systems generate data, consume data, and they process data. And as a backend to all these systems, there are databases where the, this data is stored, right? And from the past couple of years, we have the cloud providers. Clo so any cloud provider like Facebook, Twitter, MailChimp, and Salesforce, these systems have their own data. At times, your organization needs to exchange data as well as uh, collect data from these systems, right? And where do you store it? you again need to store it in your database, right? Over time, you have so much data that is being, that is being transferred into your system, right? And you need to maintain it. So from a state of being business needs data, all of a sudden your data becomes your business, right? How you manage this data, what you make use of this, right? Uh, how do you, uh, derive insights from this data that becomes your business your business suddenly becomes a data driven business or a data driven organization right so this is the problem that all the organizations around the world are facing these days uh, an exponential increase in data also when an organization is being data driven there are four fundamental problems of data that they will face. So let's look at all four of them. The, we call them the four V's of data. Okay. The first is the data volume. You see now suddenly there is a lot of volume of data that needs to be stored, that needs to be processed. Okay. So this is the first V. The second V is about the variety of data you no longer have structured information. You have unstructured information as well. You have non-database data, such as data that you collect through REST API, XML data, CSV, JSON. These are just few examples, but you can see these are not your typical database data, right? Uh, some of them are unstructured. So as the company expands their data footprint, you will see an increase in such unstructured data as well. There is a need to store and process them, right? The third is the velocity of the data represented here by a truck, right? So the data that's coming in is at coming at, at a very high velocity, meaning we are talking about millions of records that need to be processed and stored into the system. Finally, the veracity of data, meaning sometimes the data is not complete. Some parts of the data may come today, the other, the remaining parts may come tomorrow, right? So you often don't have the complete picture. So you need a platform that can manage all of these, right? This we call as the four V's of data, okay? This is an attribute of big data. Okay, so any organization that's going through this expansion of data will come across these four V's of data, volume, variety, 
velocity and veracity okay so if you face this your organization has a big data problem now to address the big data problem you need a big data solution but before that let's take a step back what about the existing databases right we have sql server we have oracle we have mysql and you know these databases have been there for many years together right uh, what's wrong with them right so let's look at them first is scalability okay each of these product uh, up to you know very recently had some kind of a limit on how much you can scale meaning they will handle only these many terabytes or these many petabytes anything outside of this beyond the range right beyond the architecture that the database can manage so there was a set limit when it came to scalability right next is the ability to process unstructured data now if you know about these databases like oracle mysql sql server you know that before you can store any data you must first define the data itself how do you do that you create tables right you create tables and only then can you store the data right that is how things have been with a relational database you first need to know what is the data that you are collecting but this is not true in the case of the four v's of data especially the variety of data today facebook may send one format of json tomorrow that might change based on certain conditions in which case a relational database will fail right so the uh, the uh, relational database cannot address the variety of data the other thing is the scalability in terms of performance right so uh, let's suppose you purchase a sql server license and you put that into a data server uh, you you install sql server into a data center a data center is a very powerful hardware you may have multiple cores does that mean that your SQL Server will be able to leverage all the cores? Probably not. Because the way these products are licensed, they put a limit or a cap on how many of these CPUs can be utilized by the product. Often it is limited, let's say 10 cores, 20 cores. So even if you have a very powerful data center that has multiple cores, uh, a lot of memory, the product will still not be able to utilize all that CPU cores. Right. So you are underutilizing the data center. You are underutilizing the hardware. Right. So they are not scalable. They don't support, uh, you know, a different varieties or unstructured data, and they're quite expensive. Plus, uh, over time, these products tend to become, uh, uh, you know, very dominant. Meaning, once you are completely based on Oracle stack. What you will see is that it's very hard to uh, make Oracle work with anything else. You will end up buying Oracle products, right? So they try and cross sell a lot of their own products, right? So you get limited by the capabilities. It will be it will be very hard to get out of the contract, right? So basically, it means no freedom to uh, move over your stack to let's say some other vendor or some other technology. Okay, so it, they are not scalable, they don't support unstructured data, and they're quite expensive to run and manage. Because of all these reasons, you really cannot use a relational database to address the four V's of data, which is the volume, variety, velocity, and veracity. This is where you need a big data solution. To address a big data problem, you need a big data solution. So a big data is a lot. Now, I, I, I don't want to get into the technical details of it, but let me explain it in as simple words as possible. You see, all the great engineers, great thinkers, they gathered around and they started looking at the problem that these relational databases pose. They said that, okay, how can we make this architecture simple at the same time scalable with low running cost? the answer was right in front of them file systems you see file systems have been in existence for quite some time right uh, every operating system windows linux mac they all have a file system and 
we have databases. In fact, databases were created to address some of the problems with file system, right? But now we have seen databases have uh, started showing their limitations when it comes to scalability, when it comes to flexibility. File system, it may be slow, but it's perfectly capable of handling multiple files. It is infinitely scalable, right? So let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of a few important parameters. File system, is it highly scalable? Absolutely, yes. Your file system is only limited by the hard disk storage. You just keep adding more and more disk to your computer. Isn't it possible to maintain as many as many files that you uh, that you want, right? Or, or as many folders as you need, right? But if you look at a database, each of these relational database have a certain limit. Beyond that, you really cannot scale. You will have to. You will end up installing another version of the database somewhere, right? So they're not highly scalable very generic framework, right? So Windows uh, file system is something that is uh, very, very generic, meaning all the products can uh, use the data that is stored in a file system. But when it comes to a database, no, it's proprietary. Can you easily move data from, let's say, an Oracle database to a SQL Server or SQL Server to MySQL without significant manipulation of the data, the underlying storage, the data type, right? All these problems are simply not faced when you have a file system. You can simply copy over a file from your Windows to Linux, right? You can do an FTP, you can do a HTTP copy, right? Uh, you don't have to do any complex conversions of the of the file itself, right? And you have many add-ons. You have so many uh, products that can interact with the file system, not so much with the database. You see, when you go with a specific Windows database, the number of add-ons are limited and often these add-ons are uh, given by the vendor themselves, right? So this is the framework of a big data solution. You see, it based on file system. So you can easily scale. This addresses the volume and velocity as well, right? Now you can directly store as many files as you want in new folders. It does not have any restriction on the CPUs that you use, right? You design any framework that works on these file systems, you can use as many CPUs as you want, right? In fact, all the CPUs that you need. And then these file systems can also support the different varieties, right? So you can use the same folder to save, let's say a video file, an audio, XML, CSV, REST, you name it and that such a file can be stored in the file system. So it is not putting any restrictions, which also means that you are prepared to accept no matter what kind of format of a file that you get. Okay, so this is the big data solution. Now, let's look at the most popular big data solution out there, Hadoop, right? So Hadoop is synonymous with big data. They say that Hadoop is big data. Well, that's true. But uh, you should also think that big data is actually a class of product, right? Uh, and Hadoop is not the only product, but Hadoop is the most popular product, most well-known product out there. And uh, forgive me for using the word product. Hadoop is not actually one product. Hadoop is an ecosystem, right? And you will see in this architecture diagram that at the core, at the base of Hadoop is the Hadoop distributed file system. You see, it's a file system where you can store files. Now, on top of this, you have so many layers, you have so many add-ons. You can think of these as add-ons, right? So for example, um, you have Hive, right? Hive is capable of reading the files stored in the file system as if they are tables. It exposes the files as if they are tables so you can query them, right? Query them using SQL, structured query language. So you can write select statements, you can filter the data, you can create new tables and so on, right? But the underlying framework is HDFS, okay? So this is one architecture. Similarly, you have a lot of other architectures like NoSQL, MongoDB, Cassandra. These are all 
examples of solutions that try to address the big data problem out of which Hadoop is the most popular one. Now let's do a quick summary of what we have learned. An organization is said to have a big data problem if they face the four V's of data, which is volume, variety, velocity, and veracity. A big data problem needs a big data solution, right? There has to be a problem. Uh, you simply cannot say, okay, every organization needs a big data solution. Probably not. Only organizations that face the four V's of data should seriously think about implementing a big data solution. Hadoop is the most popular big data solution out there. And Hadoop is more of a big data ecosystem than one product. As you see, Hadoop is continuously expanding. Uh, even as we speak, there are a lot of add-ons that have been created that work on top of the Hadoop ecosystem. With this, I conclude the video. I hope you all liked it. If you liked it, please give, give us a like on the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll be back with more such videos. Thank you.